help, I'm drowning. In savings. Can you look at this dress I want to buy? We're on a budget buy. What? Mm. Looking for the gentle caress of a soft island breeze? Look no further. Welcome to the most economically taxing show on the internet. Budgets will be stretched, accounts will be drained, and notifications will be pushed. Two contestants are competing against each other to see who can save the most money over the course of one week. The rules are simple. Contestants have to stick to a $200 budget for their weekly expenses. All purchases must be made online. You can barter for things at any time. Whoever has the most money left over wins. The intensity, the drama, the passion for pinching pennies. I'm Leah, and welcome to the grand finale of $200 Island. Welcome to $200 Island. This season, we've seen the trials and tribulations of two contestants as they battle their wants and desires to make smarter budgetary decisions. We've applauded their highs and gasped at their lows. We'll be tallying up the results to see who was able to save more while surfing the shopping mall that is the internet. And now, we'd like to welcome back to the $200 Island studio our contestants, Carolina and Zipong. The past week has been very interesting. The biggest thing I learned, I have a problem of late night shopping. I definitely spent more than I thought I was gonna spend. I kind of had the mentality where I was like, oh, when I was in college and when I was younger, I used to know how to make money stretch, but I lost that muscle. The saddest and the most difficult thing that I overcame this week is to have a friend to come over to have dinner with me. It took me maybe five hours to get a human being come over. So the one thing that I think will make or break me was my Ayurvedic teas. I wasn't anticipating to receive them during this. Oh, and now that I think about it, I guess I didn't really need to buy my friend's iced coffee either. I didn't have to do that. I am shocked that saving is a little easier than I thought, but that means I have to make compromises in my luxurious life. I'm proud of myself, and everyone else should be proud of me as well. And that's that. Hello and welcome back. How did you guys do? Zipong? Yes. Was it more of a cruise situation or more Titanic? I really thought I was gonna ran into the iceberg, but somehow the iceberg did not appear. Carolina, was it smooth sailing or rocky waters? Mostly smooth sailing, some rocky waters, but I never drowned. We are gathered here today to tally up your spending for the past week. But first, let's take a look back at your last day. First of all, this is my second to last roll of TP. It's also my first row as paper travel. I've only spent half of the budget so far, so I think I'm doing great. My plan for the last day, lunch specials. Save as much as possible for the win. I'm walking to the train right now. I am on my way to my office. I messed up, I went to lunch. I should have packed a lunch, but I don't have time to pack a lunch. So I spent $18. $18 on lunch, which was kind of expensive, but I wanted to sit down and enjoy time with my coworker and like relax. I feel like I should have done better, but I don't know that I could have done better. Well, it seems the tide of online spending may have pulled our contestants out to sea, or maybe they managed to avoid the sunburn of overspending, casting a net of responsibility. Let's find out as we tally up their spending from the week. Drum roll, please. Zipong spending $29.39 on groceries, $10.50 on bike rental, $69.87 on food, $17.90 
on a movie and $10 on music subscription from the bucket of the forgotten. Does that sound right to you? Very accurate. Carolina, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready now. $19 on iced coffees, $52 on Ayurvedic teas, $11.42 on dish soap, $24.50 on lunch, $12 out with friends, and that's it. <gasps> Carolina, does that sound right to you? That's absolutely correct. So the winner is Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> but since we are all winners, everyone gets a prize. If you'll turn to the sand castle next to your chair, within each sand castle is your prize. Is this a candle? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this has been quite a journey, and I think we all learned something here on this very specific reality web series. Zipan, what would you say are your top three tips for saving? Avoid late night shopping rage. Use up lunch specials as much as possible. Don't get groceries online. The delivery fee is insanely high. Shop local. Carolina, what would you say are your top three tips for saving? You don't always have to pick up the tab. Let somebody else pay. Look. When you feel like shopping, go into your closet and look at all the clothes that you already have. Try to avoid going out as much as possible. Stay home. Well, I think we all learned a valuable life lesson this week on $200 Island. Two, 200, $200 Island. Well, come to $200 Island. This is how it goes. Are we done?